Welcome to Lotus Health Education and Wellness Empowerment Through Health Enlightenment. We're looking at ways that we can eat to stay healthy and use food as medicine with our Mediterranean diet and keeping with some of those practices that we've looked at recently in one of our videos, which if you take a link in the description below, you'll find the link for our main Mediterranean diet video. This is gonna be a recipe video that shows us how to do one of my favorite go-to meals. I use quinoa, mix it with a bit of garbanzo beans and some grilled chicken, which I actually don't grill, I air fry it, which we're gonna look at in just a second, and use that as a meal that I can eat throughout the course of the week at work and use those components of the Mediterranean diet to stay heart healthy and keep myself full so I don't end up eating junk at work. So what we're gonna do today is show how we can use some hacks like our microwave and our air fryer like you heard me mention to come up with some healthy alternatives to buying things when we're at the office or just throwing things together that may not be necessarily as healthy as we'd like them to be when we're pressed for time during the work week. Remember, if you like our content, to hit the like and subscribe button down here below today's video and follow the rest of our content. We've got great videos out on a wide range of health topics and we're gonna be coming up with some additional content very soon. So, back to today's recipe video, our quinoa and garbanzo bean chicken bowl. With today's video, we're gonna try to use some of the appliances in our kitchen that many of us probably have, and maybe we do use, but look at how we can use them to put together some really healthy alternatives. Starting off with the chicken. Remember again that one of the big cornerstones of the Mediterranean diet is that you wanna make sure that you're eating healthy sources of proteins. Some of that could mean it's coming from fatty fish or oily fish, like your salmon, mackerel, herring, and in other cases, it can be from lean proteins like chicken. I'm a big chicken person. I love to eat chicken as my main source of protein. And one of the things that you can do is to get the organic chicken. I like to use the boneless chicken breast, but you can use pretty much any section of the chicken that you like to eat. Boneless is usually best for this type of a bowl, especially if you're going to be taking it to work. It's easier for you to sort of, you know, eat basically cutting it up without the bones but if whatever type of chicken you like you can basically use it what I essentially do is that I use a vinaigrette as the means of marinating the chicken this is the one that I love going to I love basil and garlic and so one of the things that I use is this garlic basil vinaigrette here it's got no high fructose corn syrup they try to go easy on any preservatives the one thing you want to make sure of in order to again kind of stick with your Mediterranean diet is is the sodium content. I typically use for about five to six pieces of boneless chicken, about half of this container. You can sort of go based upon whatever particular vinaigrette you might like and the amount of that spice and flavor that you want in your chicken. I tend to find that the liquid content, once you take this along with some thawed chicken breast and mix them together, the liquid content using about half of the container of this is usually reasonable for the cooking process. I went ahead and pre-marinated some of the chicken breast right here. I usually do it overnight. So in the evening, the night before I wanna make this, I'll go ahead and I'll marinate it. And so in this case, I have work coming up this week. We're gonna go ahead and put this into our air fryer. So let's take a look. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our chicken. so that it's in an air fryer safe container. And we're gonna go ahead and set our chicken up to go in our air fryer. You wanna make sure to spread them out well so that they all cook evenly. And again, if you can see here on our video, some of that liquid from both our chicken breast as well as from our marinade it's gonna make this sort of watery. So you wanna make sure that you drain off as much of that excess liquid when you're washing up your chicken. And also, this is why I say about a half a container of that marinade is usually pretty good for me in terms of the liquid content. And when you leave it overnight to marinate in your fridge, it gives a nice flavor. Some of these still stuck together, so you wanna just make sure that you cover it up well with our marinade and then we're gonna pop it here into our air fryer. So 
So putting it on the air fryer setting, I put it on for about 15 minutes at anywhere from 350 to 400 degrees. It sort of depends upon how much you want that chicken cooked out and any sort of like grill marks, if you will, that you want on the exterior of it. While that's going on, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our quinoa. So what I usually like to do is that I like to use tri-colored quinoa as my option for when I'm making this. You wanna do about a two to one ratio on your quinoa. So basically on this, and it'll tell you typically on the back of the bag of quinoa, since we're using the microwave, you want two parts water to one part quinoa. Quinoa in this state here, you're gonna see it's very small, but once we add the water to it, it's gonna expand again. So you wanna make sure you follow that two to one ratio. The only thing we wanna keep in mind here is because we're gonna be making this with chickpeas, garbanzo beans, you wanna make sure here that you take into consideration the amount of liquid that's gonna be in this. This is made with an oil that has seasoning in it, parsley and cumin in this particular case because this is a Greek style uh, chickpea blend. And so with this, you wanna make sure that you take a look at the amount of liquid so that your quinoa cooks evenly. I usually get a larger size bowl than what I think I'm gonna need so that everything liquid wise is able to spread out and your quinoa is in the microwave cooking appropriately. So again, following here the recommendations, we're gonna do one cup of our quinoa. And then we're gonna grab just under two cups of water, keeping in mind the fact that once we open up this container here, we're gonna have a lot of excess liquid from that. So I do just over one and a half cups here. And then once we open up this, we see that there's some excess liquid here. And then we carefully scoop out our blend and you can see some of the oils coming out from our chickpea container. Just want to make sure that we get all of our chickpeas. And then just sort of distribute it evenly here throughout your container with the quinoa. cover this up and you're gonna want to watch it depending on the heat setting of your microwave how long you're gonna be keeping this on for I usually start it at about 10 minutes and then from there I take a look at what's happening with my quinoa and adjust the time accordingly so that I go ahead and I get evenly cooked quinoa so this is gonna take a moment we're gonna speed through this part So in a few more minutes, well, it's really more than a few minutes because we've got to wait for everything to cook. We're going to take a look at our completed meal and how we can go ahead and add certain things to it to bring in more of those health benefits we've talked about with our Mediterranean diet concepts. All right, so no time at all passed. That's not true. This entire process takes about 20 minutes to prepare everything. I just wanted to spare you guys all of that. So. Our quinoa is well done. We're gonna look at it over here in our other camera. Yeah, some nice looking quinoa. It's really hot. That's why you hear the vent in my microwave going. <laughs> and the chicken. Nice nice cooking on that. So before we start making our bowl, we're going to do another 
thing here for our meal and that is going to be some additional sources of nutrients that we will get typically recommended to us as part of the Mediterranean diet. So you can do a couple of different things. You can put toppings on here, things like hummus. You can do uh, chopped up vegetables, stuff like that. Some other type of sauce if you like, satsiki or something like that. For me, I like to eat avocado. So um, you can either do guacamole, you can make some, you can buy it from the supermarket, or you can do whole chunks of an avocado and mix it up um, with some sort of a, a topping or something like that on there. I'm gonna do an olive oil and Greek seasoning mix on my cubed avocado. So we're gonna prepare some of that here, and then we're gonna assemble our bowl that we would normally have as part of our lunch. We're gonna take our avocado here. And try to be very graceful while we're on camera and not cut ourselves in front of everybody. Okay, so we've got our avocado here. that bad boy out and hope that it cooperates again trying to be graceful on camera and pop it out here into the container Same thing. Trying very hard not to injure myself in front of everybody. Right. So now we've got our avocado. Can't let any of this be wasted. All right. So now that all of that is cut up and ready, we're gonna go ahead and add olive oil. To this and you can do a vinaigrette on this you can do a lot of other things I'm doing this because we've already got a vinaigrette that we used for the marinade so I like to vary up the flavors a little bit you can put a bit of this seasoning on here again I'm using a Greek seasoning mix sometimes I do oregano um, you know, and, and a little bit of some other seasonings, paprika, things like that. I have a little garden that you may or may not have seen in the background of some of these videos right here on the side of the house where we grow basil and oregano and things like that and fresh herbs just in general as well as some vegetables. So we're going to put a little bit of that on here. And you'll adjust this to taste however much you want. I'm just doing a little bit for the sake of our video here. So we have our avocado mixture. So now we're gonna assemble our bowl. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our bowl together. Obviously, if you're taking this for lunch, you would put this into whatever sort of container that you're gonna be taking. So we're just gonna go ahead and get everything situated here. And like I said, this whole process of making all of this, depending on the temperatures that you're using, on your 
air fryer or your microwave. If you don't have an air fryer, you can do the chicken, um, either pan fried or grilled, or you can use your oven as well if you want something that's healthier. I tend to like to try and stay away from pan frying stuff as much as I can and use my air fryer and you know make sure that I'm preparing food well, but also getting something that's healthy as well. So we're gonna take some of our quinoa here along with our chickpeas. We're gonna scoop on some of this avocado. And our chicken. So really quick, really simple. Avocado, chicken, quinoa and chickpea bowl. You've got lunch. So if you have any recommendations of meals that you like that incorporate the ingredients from a Mediterranean diet, put a comment below our video here. We'd love to hear from you. And remember again to like the hit the like button and subscribe to our content here on Lotus Health Education and Wellness. We really enjoy having you here for our videos. Remember that anything you see here on our channel that you think might be beneficial for you and helping to improve your health condition, remember to talk to a member of your healthcare team to make sure that it's a change that'll work well for you. Until the next time, we're here at Lotus Health Education and Wellness Empowerment through Health Enlightenment. We'll talk to you again soon.